Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. Hello, hello. I'm your girl. I am your girl. I am I'm so excited. Amy Warrior Princess and I have the wonderful, bodacious, lovely Linda with me today. Hi Thank everybody. You. Good to see y'all. Hey. Um I haven't had you on my channel for so long. That's why I'm excited. Um uh, welcome to the castle for the Welcome I back. I love this. I love this. This is cool. Thank you. Um, be sure to check out all the rooms, check out the food, sit down, put your feet back, enjoy yourself. Enjoy the, the night menses. Yes, for sure, for sure. So it's just it's just a pleasure to have you back. Thank you. And, um, I did have a little bit of news today. I had to go to the doctor. Oh no! And yeah, I uh, I am pregnant. Oh, <laughs> why are you laughing so hard? April Fools! I was gonna say happy happy April Fools! <laughs> oh, the problem I is people will oh. bust out laughing instead of saying. <gasps> Because I know you. <laughs> I got it. So oh, um, yes. I love this castle thing. This is beautiful. Thank you. That's our. That's actually uh, a picture of our actual family castle in Scotland. Wow. We yes. have pictures of ours, but they're nothing but brick and mortar in the ground. Durham Castle got just totally mashed up. We said, uh, the whole family said, oh, we got a little fixer up for here. <laughs> it's in the Isle of Skye in Dunvegan, Ireland. Yes. Wow. That's my family. Oh, castle. in Ireland. Oh, yeah. Or did I say Ireland? I'm in Scotland. Scotland, Sorry. yeah. Scotland, yes. So that's my fam. That's my legacy right there. There you go. I got Very Scottish proud. and Irish. I think I have more yeah. Irish than Scottish in me. Uh, me too. But hey, that's where I get my warrior princess from. Oh, uh, yeah. But uh, I love it. I love it. I have a and, Scottish boyfriend. For oh, I wish. Years. I almost moved to Edinburgh. And I'm glad oh. I did because their idea of a good time is drinking. That's all they do is sit around the pub and drink. Drink and, and smoke. And my kids were young and I just didn't want to expose them to that. If I could. Now there's a lot of people in Scotland that don't drink, but his crowd drank. But one time I went in and I said, Robin, if you were me, what would you do with your hair? He said, woman, if I were you, I'd be too busy playing with my breasts to worry about my hair. <laughs> Scottish people have a real good sense of humor. This is true. This is very true. But um, I was going to say something, and then it just went. Oop. I know that it's kind of that lazy feeling today. I know. It's like, oh, I think it's the weather. It's only like fifty something degrees here. It's been like seventy degrees out here, and yesterday it was raining. Go oh, figure. It's raining now this here. Weather is so weird. And then I just happened to glance. Uh, there's all kinds of tornado warnings out. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> here too. Um, oh, here we go. This is why I had asked you uh, if we could do a show because we had talked about uh, this um, backstage on the 27th while I was getting my supper around I got a big whoosh a big psychic whoosh like everything was going to be okay like it really excited oh my gosh what were you thinking about before the whoosh happened nothing I was just minding my own business just getting my food around and I just got a whoosh and then like, you got like this feeling of, oh, things, everything's going to be okay. You mean in the political realm? Yeah. 
yeah, because I like it when that happens. You're just minding your own business, and then you get a... I know one time there was something on the TV, and I don't know, it was something, everybody trumped this and trumped that, and my guy said as clear as day, it doesn't matter if he's convicted or whatever, he's he's not going to win as president. That's what I heard. No, he's not. He's not. And and I like I told you behind the scenes, I said I I I believe it had something to do with the Congress. We are going to get it back. Oh yes. And so we, the good news, Mike Mike, uh, whatever his name is, Johnson. John, when John, come, yeah, when Johnson. they come back from Easter break, he's gonna allow the uh the Ukraine to come to the floor. Yes. <clears throat> It'll pass, by the way. Oh yeah, oh yeah. And then Everything... they're going to try to get them out. They're going to say, "Get that sob out, the great grace." And then either the Democrats hold them up because he allowed this on the floor. They hold them up for a bit, or uh, um, Hakeem Jeffries is going to be our new speaker even before we change over. They're going to go crazy. I'm going to tell you right now. <laughs> oh, yeah. Everything is going to go start going Democrat even before. Yeah. Biden wins. Oh, and the Florida uh, Supreme Court said that they can vote uh, for abortion rights on the ballot. Biden but in the meantime, they got a six week restriction. But yeah, that whole thing, the abortion right. Well, that was the sleeping giant. That was the one that I, the minute they, that the Supreme Court said that, I said, ooh, ooh, they just woke up the sleeping giant. This yes, will take them all down. Because, you know, they're trying now even to make rape legal. I think in Arkansas or something. Yeah. They're not, they're taking away the penalties for rape. So it's like, oh, hell to the no. Um, no. No. So women... At least the women that have are, are sane and aren't dolled up with the big lips and the, yeah, the Marlboro because, women. But it's very sad because they really don't want women to vote anymore. That one guy that's running, is he running for governor? And he says he doesn't want women to have the vote anymore. He's cray cray. Anyway, yeah, he's not going to win. All those suffragettes that fought for us are turning in their graves right now. I know. And men, and it's like, not, this isn't all men. There's a lot of men that don't want their daughters to have to carry an assault. Uh, they, their daughter is an assault, is assaulted and has to carry the baby. To, they don't want that. Yeah. So I mean, I'll, and I'll say it right now, as, as a survivor, that Oh, hey, uh, hell no. to the no, girlfriend. Mm -mm. Straight up. No. Yeah, no, okay. this, this, this too shall pass. But mm -hmm. his numbers are dropping. I, it, even on paper, on the news, you're seeing him going down. And this Christianity thing is, there's only so many people that they, even Catholics, I know good Catholics and I know bad Catholics, but a lot of the Catholics, can't get their own families to go to church. And so you think they're going to vote based on what the Catholics tell them? Hell no. And by the way, when Biden takes over, I'm not quite sure it's his last term. I'm going to tell you, they will separate church and state majorly. They're going to say, oh, heck no. No more of this, uh, but that the churches can say who to vote for. And if they start getting political, which they are now, they're going to take away their ability to be, to be non-taxable. Good. I've seen because that a while ago. That that's that's not right. Selling those Bibles. Oh my God. Yeah, I about threw up. <laughs> but it's like he's making himself a laughing stock. He's he's been doing that. But the other night, or last night, Easter night. So I'm, you know, kind of resting and meditating. And all of a sudden, my guide said, they were pretty specific, that we must pray for Trump. 
I know that sounds cray cray, but it was it like does. before yeah. when they told me, Linda, knock it off, get off the Trump train because you're ca- creating more ca- chaos. Pray for him and circle him with the light because evil doesn't like light. That's true. And just pray that only the, for the betterment of mankind. May he see the light. May he folk, may he be, you know, because that light will burn him. That, that's true. Like, like it does with vampires. But it's like we, we're going to have to, I hate to say this out loud, but hate to, almost like we have to forgive him. And I'm not April fully new. I really think that, that we must not. You know, and I was watching that Jesus of Nazareth and, you know, that guy asked Jesus, you know, come fight with us. And he says, no, love your enemies. Love your And they were looking at him like, you crazy. What the hell do you mean, love your enemies? But that's part of that love is what breaks all barriers. That, that's true. And it took me a long time. I don't know how I got here. Linda, but for the longest time, I feel nothing towards him. I don't feel hate. I don't feel anything towards him. And yeah. and people are like, "What? Well, why don't you? And I'm like. Because you took your power back. Right. That's like with my dad. Because I, when I forgave my dad, what it is, you don't forget. But no, you take your power back. They have no more power over you. Right. But I, I refuse to hate him. I can't I, I, I can't hate him. I, I won't because that gives him the power. Yeah. And and there is enough hate in this world now. Anyway, I, I, I can't. Yeah. Yeah. So. And a lot of people can't get that and that's OK. Yeah. So oh, I, I've met some people that are hating with a vengeance, but what happens is it eats you up. It eats that's you up. True. Too. It gives them more power. That's true. And it's, um, I've got enough things to work through myself. Not, not liking him, you know, having hate for him is not something I need. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Girlfriend. So it's just, Life is too short. Why hate? Yeah. You know? And we're going to see some good news coming up politically, coming up. Yes. Soon. I think, didn't Andre said beginning in June, things were really going to hit the fans for Trump and his cohorts? Yes. Yes. So we're almost there, girlfriend. I know. Thank goodness. We're already I think, Yeah, because I think when we did the 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 our last well, our last um show we both said things were going to start getting better around late spring yeah early summer yeah and yeah. i told everybody don't pay attention to those polls with biden just don't even go there no, no. and that's totally changing now too yeah i'm really excited for this year i mean really excited I can hardly wait. I mean, my whole body is just going right now. I'm yeah. just so and I excited. I think Putin's going to be out of the way pretty soon. I know. I know. Yay. So I don't know how that's going to happen. But yeah. He's just I don't know how it's going to happen. But it's gonna happen. start helping Ukraine and they wipe out these insurgents and Putin can't keep going. It's, it's really going to be bad. Everybody in Russia is mad at Putin. Let me tell you, if they could get in there, well, they would. Oh. And did you see the big march in in um, Israel? I I heard about it. I read about it, but oh, I haven't seen it. Seen it on the streets, saying, "No, we want to vote." Because I guess Netanyahu's like, "Well, we're in a war, so we can't vote." No, they want to vote because they want to vote oh. his happy butt out. They don't have so a dictator anymore. They want their loved ones back. I get a bad feeling about the people that have been taken. I almost feel a lot of them aren't with us anymore. I agree. A lot of them aren't with us anymore, which is sad. Because Hamas would be offering more live people, but I don't think they have anyone to offer is what I'm getting. 
We'll uh, find I, it. I unfortunately they don't. I don't feel anybody really. But, but yeah. the, they want they want to have uh, a vote so they can get somebody in there more reasonable. They don't want to see all those children starving either. Well, who does? But Jesus, did what did you ever see for Jared Kushner? Oh, I never saw good for him. No, no. years ago. And Bill Barr, too. I've always had a feeling Bill Barr would pay the price in this lifetime. I always saw Jared Kushner in an orange jumpsuit. Oh, yeah. I mean, I don't think he'll spend years. He'll he'll spend maybe months. Hmm. Months, but not. But he's going to be in trouble because right now Congress, the Republicans, aren't allowing an investigation into Jared. But as soon as this switches, they'll be all over that, and there's going yes. to be some ugly stuff coming out. Yes, and Barr, he is in so much trouble. Barr, I've never seen good cards for Barr, even though he came out against Trump. He messed with the, uh, what's his name? Our first uh, attorney, um, our special oh. prosecutor. Gosh, what? What oh. What was his name? I used to love him. Not Eastman. Eastman. You know, Mueller. Oh, Mueller. Okay. He messed with Mueller. He changed the outcome. In fact, Mueller ended up testifying in front of Congress or Senate or whatever. He told them, that's not what I said. He's saying I said these things I didn't say. That devastated him because they were good friends with the wives and everything. And this guy ended up grabbing the thing before it was released and then telling everybody there's nothing to see here. And Trump over there, yeah, I'm, I'm good. I'm totally vindicated. No, you weren't. Mm-mm. Mm -mm. It's this. Oh, I just would. I'm just glad this. This is all being found out now. But I think this is going to be. Like this is we're finding out what we're finding out now, and this is going to be like another Watergate, where years later we're going to find out even more. Yeah. You know. So, and then everybody. Everybody who was left who still believed in him will be like, crap. <laughs> like, yeah. Yeah. I love it, girlfriend. It's like, we told you so, and you didn't listen, you dummies. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Exactly. I love it. You dummies. So it's, it, it's, um, it's just unbelievable. And it's, it's like, at least we didn't drink Kool-Aid and fall for the stupid crap, you know, because yeah. we're smart. Yeah. <laughs> that, yeah, we, we, uh, but all of us, a lot of woke people knew something's wrong with this picture. When he was up there lying and I'm going to give you the best health care you ever saw and I'm the only one that can fix it. I knew he was lying. Oh, yeah. We're still waiting for it, by the way. Yeah, there's no health care. But, yeah, this is... Uh, and, you know, thanks to the, the 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 people, the light workers out here that are helping others help themselves. You know, I remember starting in 2018 and saying, come on, you guys. <laughs> I think Revealing Light was on. There wasn't that many people, really. And then it just exploded because all of us have our, it doesn't matter if you're not liking my approach to it. If you can have another psychic that you like them better. Right. But the main thing is that calmness vibrationally keeps things in motion, keeps things okay. Exactly. If we're more reactive when we're all over him like a cheap suit, it doesn't help us. We have to say this too shall pass. This too shall pass. Oh, yeah. I mean, I... I started watching Scott and you and, and, you know, all the, all the ones that have been around forever. Yeah. 
and what I was seems like, like forever. It, <laughs> what what seems like forever, yeah. And then and then finally I talked to Scott and he's like, You need to start your channel. I'm like, <laughs> Yeah, right. And then like three days later, here I am on YouTube. And I'm and I'm still here almost three years later. So and I love it. Isn't I it great helping. because the people in the community are so nice? Yes. Yes. And I, I wouldn't have it any other way because I love helping people. I love helping the world. I love helping the community. I just love being part of it, you know? Yeah. And it's just and it it it's all of us. It's not just one person, it's all of us. Yeah. Yeah. It's all of us. And it's it's not me giving the messages. It's not us giving the messages. It's we're our guide. That, we're tapping it's, into that to that universal. Yeah. And, and we love it. it. Yeah. <laughs> so Things are good. did you have a nice Easter, by the way? Oh, I did. I did. I had what some roche chocolate eggs. Oh. That's all that matters to me. We we gave my grandson so much. He's going to be on a sugar high for two, three days. <laughs> That's it, I swear to God. But he's 10 now and he's like five foot four. And I said, yeah, this is the last year you'll be doing the Easter. He said, yeah. Because, you know, he had a good time, but it's not like when he was little. Yeah. And also probably he, he won't trick or treat this year because he's really getting tall. Tall and slender, good-looking kid. <laughs> well, of course, look who his grandma is. Aww. And his mama. Oh, God, my daughter. Yeah, she loves him so much. She's such a good mama. I can't believe I can't believe my great niece is gonna be 13 this year, and she's about five, 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 six. Yeah, these kids are spruce, they're going straight up. Well, people are getting, I will tell you, my mom was like 5'2", five, 5'3", five, little tiny Hispanic, uh, Native American. And um, my dad was like 6'2". And his brother was 6'4". And his youngest brother was 6'7". And I don't know what's, because my grandfather, his father was, you know, not even six feet. But my grandmother was like 5'9". Oh. So I don't know where, what, although my grandfather too on the other side, but that has nothing to do with my dad. But my mother's father was a very tall, very tall yeah. man. We're all tall. So yeah, <laughs> they don't stand yeah. a chance. <laughs> I like being tall better. I remember praying to God I wouldn't get any taller than five foot three because Davy Jones and the Monkeys was five foot three. I was in seventh grade. Please, dear God, don't let me get any taller than five foot three. And as soon as I hit high school, I threw five, six and a half. <laughs> Same as me. Yeah. Just spr and I know a lot of people went in little tiny boys and came out the military men. Tall and buffed. Yeah. My nephew, as soon as he hit about 16, he was six foot four. Oh my. Could you feed him fast enough? <laughs> no. Because <laughs> even my brother, my brother only ended up like 5'8", five, 5'9". Five, but he was very hungry all the time. As far as boys are concerned, peanut butter and jelly sandwich every night, gallon of Kool-Aid or chocolate milk. Yep. And I've got cousins that are like 6'5", six, 6'6". Six, six. Wow. I mean, I, we're tall. <laughs> it's a tall group. Is that part of the Scottish heritage, you think? Scottish and, and Danish and English, yes. Because a lot of the Scots were short. I have you, You've you been to Edinburgh, right? Huh? Oh, yeah. Because you saw those little, in a lot of those places, those doors. Itty-bitty doors. doors, yeah. Yeah. You have to go... Mm -hmm. <laughs> to get in there. <laughs> I remember going to Sterling Castle and everything was kind of small, you know. 
Yeah, and e even in England, they used to be super short, and now they're like everybody's tall. And yeah, yeah, yeah. And my the grandpa best was. The Chinese food I ever had was in Edinburgh, Scotland. Which you wouldn't think so. No, I, the best Chinese I ever had was in Edinburgh. The best, um, uh, my sister would remember, but in in Oklahoma at the Apache Hotel. They had the best, what is that dish that like little uh, pot stickers? Pot stickers. Can you believe it in Oklahoma? Pot stickers. Really? We couldn't wait to get, it's that served at the bar. And every time, in fact, the Warriors was playing Oklahoma and these big cowboys come in there and they're sitting down and they're like, yeah, this is about ready to be over with because we lost every game. So we're sitting down there and we're not wearing a warrior shirt or showing our butt. We're being very quiet, but we ordered us some pot stickers. Those were good. <laughs> and then while we was watching, all of a sudden we won a game. And they said, ah, that's okay. We'll take them tomorrow. And then before you know it, you know, we won and won the, the, the big ending. The warriors took it. It was amazing. But we had lost every single game. So I believe in miracles. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. I mean, I am a walking miracle. Yes, that's true. Seriously, because I was born dead and I came back to life. So you came back to life. Did they did they CPR you or did you? I came back on my own. Wow. That was an outside force. Yeah, they literally said, you're going, <laughs> you're going back. <laughs> wow. Do you remember anything psychically? Um, I don't, rem I, the only thing I remember is that they told me it, that's when I got my gifts. Yeah. And they told me it's not your time. You Have they to already go back. Dis disengaged the, um, the umbilical cord? Um, yeah, I, I was out, out, out. Uh, be, okay. Because if you be were still connected with the umbilical cord, you were still getting oxygen through that. No, no, I wasn't getting any at all. Yeah, girl. I was, because the, yeah, I was drowning in blood and had no oxygen, so... Yeah. Hey, what do you think about that President Biden, uh, that truck that's driving around showing him hogtied? <laughs> I, I think I don't see, you know, anybody else would be in trouble. Anybody else, the FBI would be knocking a secret service, knocking on your door. But I see the people that had it on the truck getting in trouble, but I don't see Trump in trouble for reposting it. He just keeps... Being able to push that, but pretty soon he's not going to be able to push it anymore. Oh, no. I don't know why they don't tell him stop it because, you know, well, that's Well, I enough. think this judge is going to make sure he can't talk about his daughter anymore. I don't know how he's going to do it. Somebody's going to get hurt pretty soon. And it's going to be because of Trump. Trump already hurt a lot of people. Yeah, you know, that, just, that just makes me disgusted what he did with that truck. I'm right. sorry. That's Ugh. But anybody else, how dare you do that to the president of the United States? Could you imagine Trumpsters and people post? You saw how mad he got about that balloon. Remember that balloon that they had with the, in the diaper? The Trump balloon? Oh, in Trump England? was yeah. furious. It was over in Europe. Oh, Trump was furious about that. I so thought it was hilarious. I thought it was. Hey, the shoe fits. But hey, but I mean it. It's it's true. It wasn't something that threatened his life, though. There's you no know, but it, our dagger. So, I mean, it should have it should have stopped right away, right away. Yeah. But um, yeah, stuff like that is not going to be allowed. Very There's some things that are going to change. And I know that even with the Supreme Court, their days are numbered. They're going to give 
I wouldn't doubt very much if Biden ends up grabbing a couple more people. Because I see the whole, like, there won't be long forever once you're, oh, uh, the Supreme Court said giving us term limits or a limit for the amount of time we can stay is unconstitutional. No, it's not. It doesn't say no, anything about constitution. I see I him adding, like, dirt. yeah, but I see him adding, like, two or three more people. Yeah, well, see, right now, I heard, I don't know if it's true, that they're, they're going to visit something where they're saying it, the oligarchs can give give them all the gifts they want and they shouldn't have to say a thing about it. Yeah, they're trying to give, in other words, yeah, just do what you want to do and, and we're going to put it on record. So it, not, that's not going to pass. Mm -mm. I they, mean, we have I'll never... tell you, if it did pass, I could see Trump putting 10 people in. <laughs> Hi, oh, Sherry. Hey, Sherry. Hi, Linda. Hi, Amy. I fell asleep. Oh, Lord. I'm so oh. sorry. <laughs> I had a headache and I laid down and I went, eh. it went out like a light. And I Where's just your woke location up. now? Ma'am? Where's your location? Uh, I'm in Lafayette, Louisiana. Is it overcast there? Yeah. And that's it why. Is. All, all overcast and it's muggy and humid and um, chips are like in the low 70s. It's just there's yeah. all kinds of tornado warnings that coming yeah. down to where my folks are from. Well, I'm yeah. in Oklahoma. I'm so sorry I'm so late. I feel so bad. I woke up. And went, oh, shit. that's OK. <laughs> we were holding the ship down. Yeah, it oh, awesome. it was I know what it is. It's all the stress from getting ready for my trip to California. Oh, when are you coming? Um, I fly out on the 10th, flying into Palm Springs, and then um, uh, Rock is putting me up at his place in Lake Arrowhead. So my son and I will be staying at his house in Lake Arrowhead, and then um, uh, hopefully we can get all the business end of stuff done by the 10th, because I'll get there before noon. Right. Because we're leaving like five in the morning or some such nonsense. Right, right. And then um, I'm hoping on the next day on the 11th, which is a Thursday, um, I, I guess I'm going to drive down to LA because most of the other people I know that live out there live closer to LA than where I'm going to be at and try to have like a meet and greet, just get together. And Yeah. Lake Arrowhead is, is nice. That's what I've heard. I've never, I looked at pictures. I was like, Whoa. <laughs> The last, like time, I was driving, leave. <laughs> last uh, time I was driving in Los Angeles, you know what there was a lot of, you know, those tumbleweeds on the freeway. Really? They get that out in West way. Texas. Yeah. They get that out in West Texas. But we're hoping to leave and start heading back on Friday the 12th. And, Are you driving uh, or flying? Driving back. We'll be driving back with the car. So um, we stop in Nevada and see Val from Dragonfly Crystals. Then stop in Phoenix. My son has a couple of Navy buddies he served with that live there, so he wants to stop and see them. And then stop in Tucson and see Juno. Um, and then we're going to stop when we get to Dallas. Aiden's going to set up a meet and greet for us for whoever's in that area, and and meet and greet with everybody in Dallas. So, and then nice. from Dallas home. <laughs> yeah. So we decided to just, both of us took a week off from work and decided we're just going to make it a road trip and take our time and not rush and enjoy. I wish I could go up to where you were to go and visit you, but it's it's a little Wait, far. It's 800 miles from Los Angeles. Yeah, yeah. And uh, I was like, yeah, that's a little, that's a little bit far, far I used from to love. I used to go with my ex-husband. He had a Corvette. And we drive on Ooh. Highway 80 from Livermore, California to Finley, Ohio. Oh, wow. I know where Finley is. And Finley's we even at. stopped twice, you know, to get some real rest. But, oh, those were good times. But, yeah, I can't do that kind of driving anymore. I fly yeah, I, everywhere. I, I mean, it used to be, and my son and I both were always the same. It was like, get in the car and go. Don't stop. Just get in the car and go. 
Yeah, but just you have to stop I used to love to drive. And yeah. with my back and stuff now, it's like I can't do that anymore. If we do a road trip, my back will hurt if I'm sitting. We're I have, gonna have to take a friend down with it. LA or in Laguna Beach, who is performing at a place, and I had I wanted to stay till he was done to catch the whole show, but I'll tell you, I have a hard time sitting for too long. My back was yeah. killing me. Well, and I know I'm going to be hurting by the time I get home anyway, but like I told my son, I said, you know, we just yeah. take our time, make those pit stops, even though we're both antsy about getting back and walking it off and, and uh, taking it easy. So, Well, the one thing, there's a lot of good, I'll tell you, especially in Oklahoma, any fast food restaurant or Texas, any fast food restaurant you want is there. Yeah. It's like fast I food. I grew up in Texas. Part of my childhood was growing up in Texas. So, yeah, you can find just about anything you want there. <laughs> I know a lot of restaurants, a lot of good food. Uh, How about Louisiana? Are you guys famous for your seafood? Seafood, all kinds of food. It's, I know our city, Lafayette, is for the last 10, 15 years, I think it is, we have consistently ranked in the top 25 cities for restaurants wow in the country so um that's there's great. a restaurant on every corner you can get every kind of food from from uh asian food to middle eastern food to polynesian food to cajun food to creole food to <laughs> plain old country food whatever you want you know yeah you can get just about anything here, but they've got a couple of really good Cajun restaurants here that that serve it the way it's I supposed to be made. Yeah. You know, not the not the spiced up crap you get most places. That you, right, they, they bring it. My to grandma experience. was an excellent cook. She was born in uh, Mississippi. Yeah, yeah, that's where my late husband was from. Was Mississippi. Yeah, he was from Pascagoula, so oh. they're on the coast. <laughs> So, oh, so one of these days I should play down there and have some good old Cajun food because I love go, Cajun yeah. food. Spend a weekend. Yeah. I don't like too sure. spicy. I'm I'm my I can't eat spicy Mexican and I'm Mexican. It has well, to be very mild. Cajun food is not spicy, like hot. It's just very flavorful food, you know. Mm -hmm. yeah, I could deal with that. Yeah. And uh so it 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 um there are a couple of restaurants down here that are really, really good. There's one I love to bring people to um, called Bonton Grill. And uh, they serve really good Cajun food. They have live bands that play like Friday and Saturday nights. Oh, that would be fun. And uh, so you can go sit and eat and listen to music while you're there. My son Night works at another, my son works at another restaurant slash bar downtown that serves food and Friday, Saturday, Sunday, they have live bands. And that's what he's sound engineer. That's what he does. He goes and runs the sound for them, for their for the bands that come in. And uh, so what do you think about uh, Mike Johnson telling the Democrats he will allow the Ukraine issue to come to to the floor next week? I say he is terrified of Biden. <laughs> Why? Because Why would he be terrified? He, he will he, he he talks real big and the minute he has a meeting with biden he comes out and he's doing everything biden wants so i don't know what, what it is do you think biden says it's it's personally i think he's just a chicken okay. <laughs> he's a big talker you know it's he's in over his head but you know who else did but at biden's bidding was uh the last guy mccarthy yeah yeah mccarthy he did but he too. did it anyway yeah. yeah, but with but Johnson, I think he'll bring it to the floor Johnson to get is there. he is in over his head, and I think he realizes it. Who is Johnson? Moses oh, Mike, yeah. the current speaker. He's, oh yeah, they already have said they're going to vote for Marjorie Taylor Greene, the nothing burger. Yeah, that's yeah. Well, she's <laughs> they've on only got a majority time. by one seat right now, so all it takes is two or three people to defect, and and they will too. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And we'll, and we'll have Hakeem in, Hakeem Jeffries in. Because I know the cards I pulled have said he was going to be speaker before the election. And a lot of other 
I think that could happen. Going. I think that could happen. A lot of other readers have been getting the same results. So, um, but I think Mike Johnson has no choice but to go with it and do it. He has no choice. Yeah, really. Uh, he has a, there. There's a lot of rumors flying about him down here. So, what, a lot of what? you know, just um, kind of hanky panky type. Yeah, I feel some personal you know, stuff might be coming out, and I went yeah. down to buy and says, according to the Secret Service, you've got this on your plate. Yeah. Something was I, said. I I I honest to God, I think that's why he does what Biden wants. <laughs> so, They've yeah, got the goods on him and they out. and they're like, uh, look, you're gonna do this or you're gonna do that, or we're gonna go public. So yeah. I love politics, right? That's I had a bunch of questions left over from my show with Mel this morning. I watched and someone that said that I had predicted the the um the Virgin Mary would be seen again this year. I think she's already been seen twice. I don't know, not in this country, but definitely. No. But in the Ukraine, she shows up a lot. Yeah, I've heard that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That and the UFOs. Yes, they're all over the place. I they're love all it. over the place. And I never really, I mean, it's like, not that I didn't believe in UFOs. I just. I didn't, I really, didn't want to know. I'll be honest. I didn't really you. think about it because I've never seen one myself, but. There but they follow me around all the time. Yeah, they do. They do. Yeah. Um, there are a lot I of people know why. in Ukraine that, that say that they're just, they're watching them just, regular people are just watching them all over the place. Well, let me tell they you, it's in my Russia book. A couple it's of in times. my book, but I was driving with Tana, and she took me someplace with this lady who had military goggles, and we saw 54 UFOs. And I'm talking, they were going Ooh. up like this, and then they do that. Yeah. It wasn't something, you know, because she taught us how the difference between satellites, airplanes, blah, blah, blah. And and sometimes if you took that light and you hit them, they like they expanded. It was so weird. Like they're saying hello too. Yeah. Oh my God, we were so thrilled. And, and then was, I really believed in it. And there was somebody, I'm trying to think of who it was now, somebody in the uh, a reader, not really in our community, they're kind of like, distant they just came across my feed one day and so i watched to see what they were saying and they were talking about um they had been channeling with the ets over ukraine and had been told that that they've already stopped several attempts by putin to explode oh, I felt that. Yes. and uh, and stopped it from happening and so i was like I think putin thank knows. god they're on our side you know so <laughs> i think mm -hmm. putin knows that he's being stopped Oh yeah. yeah. They said that they can interfere with any nuclear explosion. Yeah. And that's the only thing that they can in interfere with. Yeah. But before so, I forget, yeah. can I say get, give a shout out to Michigan's really awesome governor Gretchen Whitmer. Yeah. Y'all have a great governor. Yeah. She's awesome. And I'm going to miss her when she has to leave cuz this is yep. her last yeah. yeah, well, that's what it just just hope that they go vote for another Democrat. Yeah, but we had a Democrat for the last eight years for governor. Now, he was a very conservative Democrat, very, very devout Catholic man, mm -hmm. but a Democrat nonetheless. And he did a lot of stuff to, to kind of bring our state into the 21st century. And when he did his eight years, he couldn't run again. And the last election we just had for governor was the worst turnout in decades. They said nobody should. And they did it on a Saturday so that people could come vote and nobody showed up. And the Republican guy won by a landslide. And who was it? Uh, his name's Jeff Landry. Is he terrible? He's MAGA. He's, he's so America. when does it come up for a vote again? Uh, it'll be in four years. Yeah. He no sooner got into office and he started trying to undo everything the former governor had gotten in here for us. And, Sound um, familiar, doesn't it? 
Yeah. It, it just, I love to touch that Medicaid and everything else. Oh, if he could figure out a way to cut that, he would. It's, his, his biggest thing that I think he got the biggest pushback on was the uh, uh, program that Biden had implemented and just had passed to be permanent was the school lunch programs for kids so that they would get a hot meal every day, whether there was school or not, even in the summer and stuff, they would still get fed. And the government's funding it 100%. All they ask from the states is to pay 50% of the administrative costs. Yeah. For people to run the program. And our governor was like, oh, no, that's a bridge too far. We can't do and that. And what happened? Did people go nuts? People went went nutsos. Yeah. They're, Not they're so crazy. Push back on it. So, I mean. You had to leave it in then? I don't know what the final decision is. I don't think he said. I think he's trying to figure out a way to get around it and make himself come out smelling good. Well, so, let me tell you, that Rand Paul is just uh, on Senate floor talking about cutting Social Security. Boy, that is like the worst thing you can talk about during the uh, election period. Yeah. Like oh, that's well, one way to not get them. anybody's vote. I you don't can't, understand you why can't they do, do that, that, though. You can't cut it. That's something you can't touch. People are barely struggling with what they it, got. They, they want their hands and the money is what it is. It's the Social Security yeah. is in its own little entities. Congress can't touch it. They can't take any money out of it. Yeah. Well, yeah, so didn't Congress borrow $3 billion or something and never paid it back? Something like that, I think, and yeah. then they 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 change some of the rules on it to where they can't yeah. really get yeah. in there and touch it anymore. So, I mean, there's specific laws set up so that you can uh, do anything. If they got rid of the cap, security. if they got rid of the cap of what they cap people at, at that pay the tax in, because once you make like over a hundred and twenty thousand a year, I think every dollar you make over that is not taxed for Social Security and Medicare. And so all these millionaires and billionaires, they don't pay anything in. I mean, what they pay in is, you know, coffee money for the for a day or something. If they just got rid of the cap, Social Security would be solvent forever. I mean, yeah. it would no longer be an issue. And they could actually raise it. You can't get rich off Social Security, that's for sure. No. And then they, oh, maybe no. they can actually bring it up to cost of living. I mean, my mother was on Social Security. She got $700 a month. That was her check. And then they took out for insurance. And then they took out for this. And then they took out for that. By the time we got through, she had $400 left over. She was lucky. Yep. You know, the fact that, you know, we all lived together because you know, we had moved back home to take care of her because she was so sick in the end that, you know, I don't, it's like, how, how do you expect somebody to live on that? You know, you, you can't pay rent, utilities, buy food, pay for gas in your car, insurance, yeah. and all that. Why do you think um, I live with my mom? Yeah. yeah. I mean, after she passed, you know, my brother and I were both like, you know what? We've been living together this long. We haven't killed each other yet. So, <laughs> <laughs> and it's a lot cheaper than trying to live on our own. So we just, we still all live together, you know. So it can, well, as long as you guys get along, it it takes effort, but yeah, get along. <laughs> yeah, it does. I'm thinking about. We work at it. Brother. We have to work at it, but yeah, yeah. we, you know, yeah. Um, <laughs> but uh, yeah, we take. You know, we we um, you know, it's nice to know there's always somebody around in an emergency. Yeah. You know, and uh, because there's me and my son who just turned 40. There's my brother and his son who just turned 18. He graduates high school this year. So um, in May, I can't believe he's graduating high school already. Can you believe it? I was just telling, I was just telling Amy, my grandson came over yesterday. Oh, he must be getting big. It, oh, he's five foot four. Oh, geez, that's taller and than we me. we did a whole bunch of Easter eggs. We overdid it. And we said, yeah, this is your last year. Because it's he's too, too big. It looks silly. And he really wasn't all that into it. So, How old is he now? He's what, about 10? 10? Okay, I thought so. 
Because I remembered seeing pictures of him you had posted way back when when I first found you and everything. So, oh, he's my. still cute. He's still a love mm -hmm. Yeah. And my great I'm waiting nieces. for your I'm waiting for your book to come out in Audible so I can get my copy. <laughs> oh yeah, that it, it should be out. For, oh, hold on one second, you guys. I have to hold on. Okay. Yep. I'm so sorry. I zonked. I mean, just went out like a light. That's all right. I'm supposed to come here till four o'clock, so they're way too early. <laughs> Please ring on my doorbell because I can't lift all that stuff. Yeah. When they ring on the doorbell, then I open my garage and they can put the stuff in the garage. And then when my other son is here, he'll bring it in for me. Yeah. And they were piling it in front of my door. Oh. So I'm glad I caught it. And I said, you guys didn't see the note? And they said, no. I said, yeah. Can you put it in the garage? Sure, no problem. The big old two gallons of milk. I said, oh, yeah. that can't be me because we don't drink milk. And they looked, they said, oh, it was the first house. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> so I said, yeah, because uh, we don't drink milk. I wouldn't know what to do if he hand me, said, well, we have to leave it here. I would have said. I don't know. I'm sure there's my my housekeeper's coming tomorrow. I always give her food we don't use. Yeah. One time I got two big things from Safeway of um, chorizo. Ooh. I, I don't use chorizo. So I was able to give it to my housemate, my cleaner. Ooh, chorizo. Oh, yeah. Yeah, That's my good. mom used to make the best tostadas with ground beef and chorizo. Oh, maybe I, I should said come a up. That good, good unless it drips down your arm. <laughs> oh, geez, maybe I should come on down and you can make me some <laughs> of those tostadas. Tostadas, yeah, chorizo with ground beef, and then just chop, you know, like a taco. Put chop you some. Uh, well, I like to cook the onion and then put you some lettuce. And my kids, yeah. they, they don't like tomatoes. They don't like mushrooms. I can't eat mushrooms. I'm allergic. Oh, I love uh, mushrooms. My throat, love mushrooms. mushrooms. my throat will swell shut with mushrooms. Jesus, girl. Yeah. Because yeah. it's a fungi, huh? Yeah. Yeah. I had a cousin that was a fungi. I'm not supposed to eat shellfish either because I that makes me and that'll make my hands swell up real big. Well, like shellfish, shellfish, like oh, shrimp. I love, oh, and you and I love shrimp. I, I absolutely love shellfish. shrimp. A couple of times a year, it just gets to me. It's like, no, nope, sorry, gotta have some. <laughs> I'll pay for it tomorrow, but I gotta have it today. <laughs> it's yeah. like, what can you eat? <laughs> Damn, girl. Pretty much you everything can't else. Have cheese. Like you can't yeah, have no, shellfish. No, I, I have a reaction to cheese, and um, it it messes with my stomach really bad. I, I can drink milk, no problem. I can do oh, eggs, I no problem. I but can't drink milk. But my, my vet told me, Linda, if you give the dogs a piece of cheese, they love cheese. That's like giving them four cheeseburgers. That's the calories that are in it. I said, damn it, because they sure love cheese. Yeah. Yeah, same with our dogs. They, they'll eat anything that doesn't eat them first. You know, between my mm -hmm. brother's big one and my son's little one. <laughs> Then, then the cat on top of it, she rules the roost, and uh, she's Mew. definitely the boss. Yeah, me knew she, uh, she, she's definitely the boss. <laughs> yep, we the were boss. talking, Amy was talking about that hit she got. Did she tell you about that? She was minding her own beeswax, and all of a sudden, boom, she gets a, a no. hit. Tell her the story. Yeah, I was about the 27th March. I was just downstairs getting my supper around, you know, and and um, just minding my own beeswax, just do 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 do, do and it just boom. It's like, whoa. And then all of a sudden, I just get this overwhelming whoosh of happiness. And I was like, I was like, wow, what's this about, you know? And then I go upstairs and I was thinking, I was like, then it's about, I got the thought about Congress, the Congress. And the Congress is going to be 
all fixed and we're all gonna everything's gonna be okay everything's gonna be okie dokie so so this could be um, what's coming up with mike johnson this could be yeah. the whole thing that's coming up and yeah. i'm gonna tell you something last night yeah. i was telling her you know because it was easter and everything and i was watching jesus of nazareth and all of a sudden i felt this feeling like oh because sometimes they do this to me you know like the time I, we were all talking about trump and they said linda get off the trump train stop focusing in stop getting yeah. angry because you go into a state of resistance and only create more of the same and i mm -hmm. got that again but it was more like encircle him with the white light forgive him i know that sounds crazy why are you talking about that with mel earlier oh and you were just, yeah yeah because i watched it when it when it dropped and um and so i was like oh wow that that makes perfect sense i mean i know i and i know because you know i got held the last time when i said don't people were mad at me for that how could you yeah. dare how dare? but yeah he is a terrible person but by putting yourself in him in the light he'll just shrivel and pop <laughs> he'll just shrivel and that kind of love yeah. you know so your and audible books, had, your books coming out audible soon yeah in fact I'll, I, you reminded me to talk tana's on it now okay so it should be even this week any i just i've got points built up in my audible account oh so good I, good and so it's like oh i can get the book and so it's because i was getting ready to to turn my audible off because i just don't use it that much and oh, I knew your book audible. was we coming, and I said, "Okay, no, I got to yeah. keep it up until Linda's book comes out." Yeah, and then I can turn it off. <laughs> yeah, I can put it in pause mode and go back to the it. whole thing. And it was nice because I had her at a hotel because here the dogs would have started barking yeah. or something. So we went to a hotel and I had to do these fancy ear things, and and I, and I think you'll notice it's me because it was the same squeaky voice. But yeah, I read the book through and through. She said you did a real good job, Linda. I hope so. Oh, you're good. To you, you. You're good. You're good. Everything is good. And I I agree. Yeah, that's with, I'm more excited. It's going to be in your voice than yeah. than uh, That's a friend. That friend I saw down in Southern California. He said, I said he said he's not much of a reader. And I said, yeah. I said, but it's coming out audible. He said in your voice. I said, yeah. He goes, oh, I wouldn't mind a copy, so I'm going to send him a copy, too. There you go. Mm -hmm. I'm just so excited, and I am I can hardly wait for your next one. I don't know. You guys say that, but I got no intention of doing nothing. Uh, we'll see what the guides say. We'll see what the guides <laughs> yeah, say. You know, they the always guides know say. what's right. Because I've had several people in the past year started in on me about, when are you going to write a book? Your life is really fascinating. When are you going to write yes, a book? I'm like, yes. Like, who wants to read about me? Oh, girl, it took me forever. I came <laughs> up with a conceptual outline when I was with Patty in Malibu. And then I just started filling it in. And that was easy to do. That helped yeah. me. Yeah. 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 Same with me. It's That's like what Val, or was it Val and Marina told me? That, yeah, first do an outline. Then just start filling it yeah, in. Yeah, and then you fill it in. Yeah. No. Yeah. It's like people tell me you should do a, you should write a book about your life and what your life has been like and everything. And I'm like, really? Well, I'm writing a pet. Tana knew how to self publish, and I went with self publishing. They yeah. take half and you get half, but it, it was worth it to me because I can't put out much more. You know, it either takes off or it doesn't take off. Right, exactly. And then if you go through a publishing house, then oh, they you know they this and that. And yeah, you're tied to them forever. It seems like I've heard several authors talk about that. That yeah, it's it's mm -hmm. better to, to do it on their own than yeah. Um, so has y'all's weather been really crazy still, Linda? Or is it? It's what? It, has y'all's weather been really crazy still? It's sunny. It? It's like seventy two degrees here. Yesterday it was cold. It was hella windy this morning. Yeah, but I was looking on the news before I started talking to Amy. You guys got tornado galore out there. A yeah. uh, tornado, in fact, as soon as I get off here, I have another client at three, so I got to get going. But um, there's one heading towards Lawton, Oklahoma, where it's where, where my tribe is, 
And then my yeah. cousin, the one with ALS, she lives in Oklahoma City. So I need to contact all my cousins and make sure. I used to have some family that lived in Tulsa, Oklahoma years That's ago. Where my but dad was born in Tulsa. I don't know if they're still there or not. I kind of lost track of them. Um, and then my son writes me today and says, Mom, it's supposed to rain in Texas for the for the eclipse. I heard that. And yeah. then I had a client this morning from Texas she said, yeah, they're talking about. I said, Doc Connor, should I cancel it? I no, would not I go really anyway. Well, don't, don't I'm gonna cancel. do most, you don't. know, we're gonna have Tom on, Tom Moore, most yeah. Well, I can't even say it, outcome. And he's going to talk about the eclipse and the things it won't do to this nation because people are freaking out. But also he wants us to to know that we're going to be okay. But also I'm going to ask for the mo even just a break just in the moment of the eclipse and watch what yeah. happens. Well, and yeah. I'm not far. I'm in the 90 to 95 percent percentile so of, of what yeah. the eclipse is. So we'll see it. I just I don't think we'll get the total darkness, but. Okay. I know the last little eclipse we got, it was like 60% we were in or something. And it was like the sky got a weird yellowy color. It was so to wonderful. It. I went to the one it in was, Oregon and, and yeah. we got the whole thing. And it was like, a, that's why I wanted to go again. It was so profound. It was really. Yeah. Sad. Yeah. Listen, you guys, I have to go. I, I have another client. I uh, understand. Yeah, Sorry, I was but, late. That's, that's okay, right, sweetie. but thank you so much for coming. Thank you, thank you so much, you everybody. And you, uh, everybody have a wonderful day, and I will see you again soon. Bye! Yes. Bye! 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 Come on, end. End. You want me to click it?